What is up, fam? Welcome back to Leslie Jones Tarot. This reading here is for my Capricorn Zodiac sign. We are going to do just a general message reading for you. Okay, seeing what's coming towards you for this week. All right, let me readjust, guys. Sorry. All right, let's see here. Spirit, what is coming towards my Capricorns for this week, please? What's coming towards Happy for this week? We have partnerships and alliances coming out, okay? So some of you could be getting in a relationship or getting in some type of business relationship here. We're coming towards Capricorn for this first week. We have solitude. Now, how are you going to go from partnership and alliance to solitude? Hermit energy. <laughs> What's coming towards Capricorn for this week? Heartache. Oh, some of you will be going through some type of breakup or dealing with breakup here this week. Uh, the world card, yeah, universe. There's some type of ending coming to a close here. Well, that explains it. And judgment, truth card. Facing some type of reality, realizing that things weren't the way that they appeared. Spiritual union at the bottom of the deck. Some of you are going through a uh, very heartbreaking breakup, okay? Some type of relationship coming to an end. Um, this is someone that you've been with for quite some time. Could have been three months, three years, three three weeks for some of you as well but I see you go, shifting into the hermit energy okay the hermit energy is all about solitude it's about going within thinking contemplating taking time to yourself and then this heartache card some of you you were dealing with the third party situation because I'm seeing two threes here uh, the heartache and loss some of you um, found out about a third party but whatever this connection was it was a very deep connection okay because I'm seeing the spiritual union which is like the two of cups energy which is like soulmate, twin cup, uh, twin flame energy. But I do see a cycle coming to a close here with the universe. With this truth card. Some of you are the ones that are walking away from this because you realize that it was, it was time to walk away. It was time to put an end to this. And you don't see it as... Um, you don't see it as salvageable. Hmm. Okay. Some of you, this could be like a temporary ending for uh, some of you as well with the the world card and the judgment. And for others of you, um, you'll be receiving some type of karma from this. And I'm not saying it's bad karma, just depending on what energy you put out. But I feel like you'll be receiving some type of karma from this. Or some of you, this was a karmic cycle that finally came to an end as well. Okay, give me, give me a couple of cards for Capricorn for this week. Yeah, Ten of Swords, Disappointment, Sadness, Heartbreak. The tower, very unexpected. Oh, this happened out of nowhere. You weren't, you didn't see this coming. And so it hurt you really bad. But you've been through a lot with this person. Ace of Pentacles, the Empress, and the Ten of Pentacles. Some of you, you found out this person has a whole family on the other side. Or um, they have a child on the way. Or they've built a whole family with somebody else. For others of you... You're, this is what what's going to be your focus. Ace of Pentacles, the Empress, and the Ten of Pentacles is your money and your finances here because of this breakup. Like it was some type of shift that had to happen so that you could focus on your money and your finances here because you were really focused on this connection here. The her, the Hierophant at the bottom of the deck and the Knight of Cups. Yeah, some of you are going to take your focus into your money and your finances and you're going to be growing financially. Okay, so you could be uh, getting into some type of partnership at work where it's going to bring a lot of abundance in your life here. But your love life pretty much is, is, is um, in the rut right now, but that's okay. You know, we all go through it. What else is coming in for Capricorn this week? The Will of Fortune, the Death card. Yeah, this had to come to an end. Again, I'm feeling like it's some type of karmic cycle, and that karmic cycle was um, causing issues with you at work. Yeah, Page of Swords and the Six of Swords. But you're moving on. You Some things might have came to the light you found out about. And you're finally moving on from it. You're getting away from it. And that's the good thing about it. Yeah, the High Priestess. There could have been some secrets that came out. But I feel like there are still some more secrets that have not been revealed yet. That you'll be finding out. It could be on social media. It could through could be some uh, through some type of text messages or something like that. But I see you moving on, and the thing is, you're going to be focusing on your money here. For others of you, you found out that this person has a whole family, a whole, um, a whole nother stability type of relation or stable type of relationship on the outside of y'all's relationship, and so that's why you're so hurt. You don't understand. And I feel you there. 
What other messages do you have for Capricorn here? We're going to get your fortune cookies. All right. Wisdom. To focus on the past is to lose the future. Heat advice from an older person which will allow you to move on. Okay. So I do see you getting advice from an older person. Them letting you know how to let go of something and moving forward here. Reinvent yourself. A transformation is taking place. Enjoy a new lease of life. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm feeling as well. With this Empress, the Ace of Pentacles, and the uh, Ten of Pentacles energy. This here, you've been so focused on this. It's been like taking power from you you know what i'm saying because you've been so heartbroken but i see you shifting that energy here because you're letting the ten of swords represents the end okay and the tower so what i feel like is what's coming that's unexpected is that you're going to heal from this very quickly and you're going to be moving on to this more stable energy and that stable energy is helping you heal from this okay and then we have tough and trying times tough times ahead think long term and make decisions accordingly avoid negative people at all costs yeah Avoid the negative people. If some people are trying to like bring this person up or they're trying to be like, oh, well, some, 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 you know, whatever. Just avoid those individuals. You're already going through enough. Again, focus more on yourself. The Empress is about loving oneself, planting seeds, allowing them to grow. Focus on your money right now because that right there is what's going to bring you the stability that you're needing here. Okay, for a lot of you, you were in a relationship that was not stable. There were uh, different parties here. Uh, d other people with the threes that I'm seeing and so it was very unbalanced okay and so here with the judgment card as you can see she's on a scale it's time to balance it out so that's what's happening so the karma is your money you getting money you rising up financially that's going to be your karma now this person's karma I can't really say what's going on with them but that's what I see for you okay Capricorn I'm going to leave your reading there it was kind of quick and and to the point, I hope that this gives you clarity and insight. Appreciate you guys so much for watching. Catch you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.